cadets. This video will reiterate the importance of working hard for Cobalt. Cobalt has been fighting relentlessly all over the world since it was first established in 1977. Ever since then, Cobalt has ended corruption around the globe and have taken down dangerous world threats. Remember, you are fighting to help the world become a better place. However, if you fail to do so, it may result in your termination here at Cobalt. Don't be a coward, Hart. Put the gun down. David? It isn't too late, Ben. You don't have to do this. It's not the time, Hart. You can still back out. You... You know that isn't true. Think about what you're doing, Ben. I've worked too hard for this. Ben, you promised. I have to.
Well done, cadet. That was simply remarkable. Osborne, go clear out these bodies. Do it fast. Yes, sir. Come, cadet. Let's celebrate. It is with great pride that I announce to you all something that many of us at Cobalt have been eagerly awaiting. About an hour ago, Ben Hart took the fifth and final part of his officer's test and succeeded by fighting off an ambush of armed cadets. He is one of the most determined, one of the most courageous, and most talented cadets I've ever had the pleasure of working with. In exactly one week, we'll promote him to the rank of officer making him the youngest officer since his father and my good friend and mentor, James Hart. May God rest his soul. Until then, he will have the honor of being your newest rising cadet. You did good, cadet. You've earned this. Th thank you, sir. Go tell Osborne to check on the prisoner. Yes, sir. Congratulations, man. You did amazing. Hey, you'll get there one day. I, I, I gotta ask, how difficult was it? It, um, it's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Wow, that's insane. Good job, man. Cut off the phone, Pierce. You get your test instructions? Yes. And? You've been cadet long enough to know just how confidential that is. What's wrong? I'm just, I'm just worried. What about my test? Dude, I can handle anything they throw at me. It's gonna be dangerous, man. Many have died. Hell, even Dad almost died. You know how skilled he was. Yeah, well, I'm not Dad, am I? Look, I, I've been training nearly half a decade for this. I'm ready. I know. It's just. It's just what, David? I just need you to be careful, Ben. I'm. I'm not gonna die or anything. I'll be fine. Well, maybe you won't. Dude, I will survive. I will pass. Everything will be fine. Ben, what about me? Do you know what happens to me if I fail? Five years ago, I failed my officer's test, and I failed hard, nearly losing my arm and costing Dad his life. I wanted a second chance, and Cobalt finally gave me one, with the condition being that I accept the punishment that comes from failure. And you know what punishment that is. David, you've worked hard. You've disappeared for weeks at a time and come back looking like you've had the fight of your life. I would say you're as prepared as anyone. Yeah. I know. Please, just be careful, Jeez, Ben. I know. You've said this. That's not what I mean. Look, I don't trust Cobalt. What? I, I trust them with my life and so should you. We're doing really great things. They're good people and they're critical for shaping the world's future. Besides, can't save mom without them. She's been hiding for five years. That's no way to live.
Please, just be careful, Ben. I will. Look, we'll both get through this, I promise. And how about this? When this is all over, and I'm a rising cadet waiting for my promotion, we head down to the lake house and beat the crap out of each other over a football. I'd like that. That's my cue. They need me back at the compound. Okay. Get through this. Good luck, man. See you at the lake house. Cadet? Out of my way, Osborne. I need to speak with Pierce. Also, not a cadet anymore. Already forget it. Watch it, Hart. What's the matter? I want to see her. <laughs> no, I know you know where she is. Very well. You burned it. Thank you, sir. I need to travel to the lake house for an interrogation. I'll be back on the day of your promotion. Osborne, you're in charge of training this week. See you soon, Rising Cadet. Enjoy your visit. General Pierce, who are you talking about? Who is he seeing? Maria Lido. Who? Maria Lido. Good night, Maria. I don't want any trouble, and neither do you. It's good to see you too, Mom. You've gotten so old! I almost didn't recognize your voice! <laughs> Not that I'm disappointed to see you. Well, why are you here, honey? Is everything okay? I like the restaurant, just outside of Buffalo. It set you up nicely. It's not bad. I just wish my sons were here to enjoy it with hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta be careful carrying that photo around. It's worth the risk. But you have continued to avoid my question. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. How about David? Yeah, he's okay, yeah. I know you better than that. I can read you better than that. You know I can. What happened, Ben? Pierce showed a side of himself I never knew existed. How so? Talk to me, sweetie. Mom, I remember when we were a family. We... I don't know. We... We, we did things that normal families do. You know, we played games, celebrated Christmas, and took day trips to the zoo, and all that. And I remember when it seemed my father gave a damn about me. I even remember that one week where we got it all back, you know, before it was taken away again. I know. I miss it too. I miss it every day. I miss you guys. 
And I love working hard. I love the thrill it provides, but that is all I've known since Dad died. What a day that was. We couldn't have one day as a family. No, I thought I could get it all back. Then he died. He died, and you got sent into hiding. And David and I have worked relentlessly with one goal in mind. I just want you to live your life again. Trust me, Ben. I appreciate that, but it isn't the time for this. Please, don't worry about me. Why not? When the hell will be the time? You've suffered so much already, and David and I can't stand to watch you live another day like this. Ben, you need to stop worrying about me. What happened to David? I've always been taught to fight for Cobalt, and I thought that would allow me to make this world a better place, and I'm not sure that's possible after what they just did. Ben, what exactly aren't you telling me? What happened to David? I've worked for five years to become an officer, and I finally get here. I'm a rising cadet, and I will be an officer in a week. I should be extremely happy, and I've never been so confused in my entire life. Ben, this is the last time I'm going to ask you what happened. He's going to be executed! Oh my god. It's all my fault. And even if he was, I don't know how I'd save him. You could figure it out. You are smart and extremely resourceful. I know you could figure it out. I don't think I'm ready to give up on everything I've ever known. Not everything. What am I gonna do? Mom, tell me what to do. This is your decision to make. This is your future, your path. No one can make it for you. I just want you to be free, Mom. I can never be free if my sons aren't. It's been many years in the making. Pierce has been quite excited. Well, thank you, Osborne. It, um, it means a lot. I don't get used to the compliments, Hart. I'm still your superior, and I still don't like you. I guess that checks out. <laughs> I know we've butt heads in the past, but I can't deny. You'll be a great asset to this organization. I will do my best. Yeah, we all know. That's why I deserve it of this. If only a father were here. Oh, you really sound like Pierce. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pierce simply admired your father. He was a really good man and be very proud. You know, I'd like to believe you, but then again, he never was much of a father. Don't talk badly about him, cadet. He was a good, honorable man. Do you really not see this? Do you not see how you sound exactly like Pierce? <laughs> I'm just saying. He was an extraordinary agent and member of this organization. Guess it's in the genes then. That's dangerously arrogant, Hart. <laughs> it was true. It's true for you and your father. But your brother is quite disappointed. David was extremely skilled. <laughs> you know that isn't true. There's a reason why Pierce is seeing him and not you right now. Hey, my brother was talented. How the hell can you say that? <clears throat> what the hell was that, Hart? 
You're about to become an officer and you're still talking to your superiors with this level of disrespect? Get the hell up and know your place. <laughs> The hell is so funny, Hart? <laughs> I mean, I was expecting it to be easy, but damn, it's a breeze getting you to talk. And <laughs> trust me, I have no intentions of becoming an officer. I knew that Pierce was not going to be here this morning. I did not know that he was visiting David. I was not sure my brother was even still alive. Just had a feeling that I could get that out of you, and boy, was that easy. You, you're a traitor. Okay. Well, this was fun, but if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go save my brother. You are going to save him. How can you be so sure? Huh. Wasn't expecting to see you here, cadet. Where's Pierce? He's busy. I didn't ask if he was busy. <clears throat> What's going on? I need to speak with Pierce. That can't happen. <clears throat> Because I know you. I know how much you care. You have a passion and a drive that is unparalleled. That's why this will work. Dad would be so disappointed with me right now. It doesn't matter what he thinks. I wanted to be an officer. You know, I, I really did. It's just... What's the point in achieving everything I've ever wanted if I'm still alone? What's the point in becoming an officer if David isn't there with me? General Pierce, we have an intruder. Who is it? Ben Hart. Motherfucker. Deal with the son of a bitch myself.
Get out of here, dear. You were both so foolish trying to take us down. You never even stood a chance. You son of a bitch, get away from him. You could have been in the next grade of this organization, Ben. I raised you and trained you for years. You were everything your father was in the best of ways. Instead, you're just another treasonous cadet. My father would be ashamed of you. During my test, you sentenced one of his sons to die, so don't you ever talk to us about him. I was trying to prepare you, Ben. Don't you see what we could achieve here? We have the power to fix this broken world, and I need top soldiers for that. Instead, you let me down and your father. Pierce, stop. We can help you. We both can. We can change this world, but you can't do that if you shoot him. I was your best cadet, remember? We can change this world. Be just like you and Dad again. But all you have to do is put the gun down. You really are like him. Pierce. General Pierce, Osborne has been found dead in the woods. You know, for a second I actually believed you. But after all the agents your brother has killed, after all the agents you have killed, including Sam Osborne, Trust me. No, no, I can. I'm fine. Go deal with Pierce. Go. Put the gun down. I've waited five years for this, Pierce. Not another step closer. In the end, you meet the same fate as your brother. Uh. Ben! Hey, no. Hey, Ben! Hey, David. I got to see her. You did. That's amazing, man. I beat you. Because I survived my test without a major injury. You, you couldn't do that. <laughs> Thank you for saving me, brother. Wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so sorry, Ben. I never should have let this happen. No, no, no. I'm just happy to be with my brother again. Hey. I'll see you at the lake house. this? He saved me, Mom. He risked his life and he saved me. He loved you. To him, it was worth it. He was a hero. He still thinks I hurt my arm during my test. Why didn't you tell him how I actually got injured? He didn't need to know. He did what many of us tried to do, and none of us could, including me. 
He proved that Cobalt can be beaten. He proved that we can fight back. He'll inspire others, there's no doubt about it. It's ironic. He rose up despite all odds. In the end, he truly was the rising cadet. One of our covert operatives just recovered this. It's an infiltration op meant to acquire some sort of chemical bioweapon. I believe if we act fast, we should be able to shut it down. Agreed. This won't be easy. Send in strike team Alpha. We'll do, sir. Every step we take brings Cobalt closer and closer to collapse. I know. We'll make sure this happens. Good luck today.